Um, Minister, I think you have to gain an appreciation of the concern that's out there in rural Ireland in relation to the bus air and crisis. My constituency of County Limerick is predominantly rural. Uh, people rely on the public transport service to go to Limerick City for hospital appointments, for their day-to-day -day business to work. Equally, they rely on it to get to the, the key county towns of Abbey Field, Newcastle West, Ratkeel, Kilmallock, Capamore. And to take away uh, a bus service, which is ultimately something which may happen unless we resolve this crisis and avoid uh, the, the situation of insolvency of the company, well then, uh, we have to see you as the shareholder representative stepping up to the plate. So we need to see the public reassured, but I think equally it's incumbent that the public uh, know that this is going to be sorted out because over the last number of years what we saw, particularly under Fine Gael and Labour during the last administration, was the closure of post offices, Garda stations, public health clinics, banks, and the consolidation of services into the larger towns and the cities like I've just named. So from that point of view, if we take away the public transport service that they rely on, well then we will hugely discommode the people that I represent. So it's incumbent on you, Minister, and the Government to sort this out. In sorting out the problem, I think the workers cannot be asked to bail out the company. I listened uh, intently to what was said at the Oireachtas Transport Committee last week where the acting CEO detailed that the workers account for 40% of the cost base of the company. It is not tenable nor feasible for the workers uh, to be uh, stripped of more salary. We have a race to the bottom in this country in terms of terms and conditions and rates of pay and it is clearly not sustainable that the workforce would be asked by virtue of salary cuts or reductions in allowances or premium overtimes to bail out the company. Many other areas can be looked at, insurance costs, uh, root costs, the NTA has to be reformed, many other areas of cost savings have been outlined but I think uh, the workers have to be uh, protected in terms of their salary and their terms and conditions. Thank, Thank you. Very you. Much.